Hi everybody, this is Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. I hope everyone is well. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. We're going to throw down cards for Capricorn today for their Julian New Year reading. And if you're wondering what the Julian New Year is, well, a few hundred years ago, we switched over to the Gregorian calendar. Before that, we had the Julian calendar, and New Year's was celebrated the last week in March. When Pisces shifts into Aries and all things become new. So, I like that idea because I'm not a huge fan of winter. But, it's just something fun and exciting. I'll delve more into the history lesson on March 31st when Neon and I get together for our anniversary reading to celebrate the change in the Zodiac year. I will let you guys know what time that reading is going to go down when we have a time stamped out. I just told Neon to not make any plans that day. So, anywho. Alright. I'm going to stop babbling and start throwing down cards. This reading will be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, if it resonates with you. Cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, and it's not going to resonate with every Capricorn, I'm not that cool. Throw it out. Get rid of it. Chuck it. Forget about it. Forget it happened. It's really easy. Or check your Moon, Rising, or Venus signs. Whatever you want to do. I'm not going to twist anybody's arm. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid, and all things can and maybe vice versa. Six of Wands upright, Ten of Swords upright. victory and the end of a painful cycle Capricorn I'm happy for you already that's awesome right what were you supposed to take out of last year six of pentacles reversed not all things are fair and equal are they could have been a work situation could have been a relationship situation I'm thinking this might lean more toward relationship three cards in. But we're going to throw the rest of the cards down. What was your shining moment? Temperance reversed. We're going to get clarity on that. I don't see a lack of balance in being impatient as a shining moment. But I'm not the cards. I just read them. What did you have to let go of? Four of cups reversed. What do you need to, what are you, uh, what can you expect from this year? Strength. What's your challenge for this new year? Ace of Wands. How can you overcome this challenge? Okay. What is your focus? During this period of transition as Pisces moves into Aries. Two of Pentacles. How do you handle the transition of Pisces moving into Aries? Knight of Pentacles. Liking it so far. Okay. Let's get some clarity. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for Capricorn today?
Even better. Even better. Victory and end to a painful cycle. Possibly disconnecting from some overindulgent tendencies, from some toxic shit in your life. Capricorn, I like it. I like it a lot. Why is the Six of Pentacles reversed here for what Capricorn was supposed to take out of last year? Oh, Ten of Wands reverse popped out. Things weren't equal. There was a burden you just couldn't release. Six of Swords. You moved forward from it. I like this. I think you let somebody else drive for a while. I, I see this card as a representation of having a lot of trust. I see that driver as source. I really do. Because you can't see what you're headed toward. Your back is turned to your future. Somebody else is looking out for you. Or was. You let somebody else steer for a while. Sometimes you gotta do that. When you're having a hard time seeing the forest through the trees, it's not a terrible idea to let somebody else drive for a minute. Just saying. Why is temperance here? Temperance in the reverse here for Capricorn's shining moment. You want to talk. Two of Cups reversed. Okay. World reversed. There may have been impatience or imbalance, a disconnect. Somebody may have had something they had to clean up elsewhere. Maybe you did. Maybe you finally said enough's enough. Some of you may have been like, you know what, go clean up your stuff. Or you said to somebody, I got to clean this up. I can't do this right now. Unfinished business elsewhere. Okay. King of Swords reversed. Emotions. Somebody had to deal with emotions. Unsettled emotions. Couldn't think logically. And when you can't think logically, it's often a really good idea to let faith take the wheel. Whatever faith you may have. More than once in my life, I've had to let the universe steer for a while. Trust me, I get it. That doesn't mean you bury your head in, your sand, in the sand. You just lay it at the feet of the universe. Six of Cups reverse popped out. I'm going to put it back in. Why is the Four of Cups reversed here? For what you had to let go of? Why is the Four of Cups reversed here for what Capricorn had to let go of? I 
High Priestess reversed. Ego. Eight of Pentacles reversed. You had to stop putting the work into something. Enough's enough. You had to let go of something that you had to walk away from, something you had to stop putting work into. Regrets. Egotistical ways. A huge part of putting putting your faith in the universe or God or whatever you want to call it is letting go of your ego. Is admitting, I screwed up. I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm just compelled for these words to come out of my mouth right now. I, I kind of feel like I'm going into mom mode right now. You had to let go of something that you put a great deal of work into. That you had deep, deep regret with. What can you expect from this year? Why is strength here for... What Capricorn can expect from this year? Ten of Pentacles popped out. That's awesome. Taming the inner beast? Could be a Leo you're dealing with. Prince of Cups reversed. Sun reversed and the Six of Pentacles reversed popped out. The Six of Wands popped out. This one belongs here. This is going to be a good gear for you. You're going to get a handle on it again. You're going to find victory, money in the bank, prosperity. I'm not feeling the lovey-dovey messages, though. I, I think you might close yourself off to that a little bit. Or attempt to. Your challenge is an ace of wands. I think the challenge is going to be the get up and go. Seven of Swords upright, Seven of Pentacles reversed. Somebody throwing shade, maybe? Somebody not quite being honest? There's strength again. I think the challenge is going to be finding your strength. Finding that drive, finding that passion. There might be there might be people whispering in your ear saying you can't do it. You don't you don't have what it takes. Yes, you do, Capricorn. If anybody has what it takes, you do. Oh, yes, you do. Absolutely you do. You have to find that strength. Okay. How do you overcome? Why is the lovers here? Queen of Wands, I like it.
Two of Wands. Two of Wands reversed. Remember who you are. Know your worth. I think some of you may, may very soon find someone who knows your worth. You might make that connection again. But you have to let go whatever the hell this was. Because I think you're still clinging to it somewhere. You gotta let go. History's not gonna repeat itself because you're not gonna let it. You have to find your strength, you have to find your victory. Six of Wands came out twice, strength has come out twice. Why is the Two of Pentacles here for what Capricorn needs to focus on during this transition? Wheel of Fortune in the upright. Things are looking up. Two of Pentacles in the upright and Three of Cups reversed popped out. Two of Pentacles clarified by a Two of Pentacles. You need to focus on the idea that you're in the upswing. Things are going to get better. But you have to disconnect from all that BS. It wasn't good for you. You have to find the release. What you couldn't release. What you just kind of had to hand over to the universe and say, I can't deal with this, I need your help. You have to release it. You have to say enough's enough and end that burden. End the pain. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here for how to handle this transition? The Knight of Pentacles is pretty cool. He's a slow mover, but he's solid. Princess of Wands reversed. Did I have flipper? No. You want to talk? Ace of Cups. I like it. You know how you handle this? Slow down. Don't rush. Because not only is this dude carrying a pentacle, he's carrying a cup. Dude, chick, whatever. You get what I mean. But you have to slow down and you have to close the doors on your past. This is a transition period for you. You've already decided enough's enough. You decided that a long time ago. You handed it over to the universe. You said, I'm done putting work into other people's egos. I'm done. 
So you need to stick to it. You need to close doors where doors need to be closed. You need to acknowledge your worth. You need to find the strength that you know you have. To accept that didn't work out. But this will. Just saying. To close the door on the past. And end cycles. And find your victory. And disconnect from things that no longer serve you. Things that aren't good for you. And if you're feeding someone else's ego, it's not good for you. Were they feeding yours? My sunglasses need to be adjusted. Sorry. Okay. We'll look at that in a second. What do we got here? The Tower and the Five of Pentacles reversed. Sudden and abrupt change. Someone coming out of the cold. Yeah. Um, let the tower fall. If the tower hasn't fallen yet, just let it fall. Because you will not be left out in the cold. You finally get to come in out of the cold. Oh yes, I like it. Yes! I'm going to pull a bunch of cards off the bottom here. You have to release this burden. You can't hold on to it anymore. If holding the tower up is a burden, you got to release it. You have to trust yourself again. You have to go on that new journey and that new path. Find your happiness. The sun will shine again. The sun will shine again. New thoughts, new ideas, new starts, new communications, new people, new things. There's new wonderful things coming for you, Capricorn. Balance will be restored. There's an imbalance up here. Balance will be restored. And you're only one cup away. One cup away. You've managed to turn this crap right side up again. There's the last cup. It's coming for you. The tenth cup is coming. Prince of Wands and the Five of Wands. You gotta be done with the conflict and done with the crap. And you gotta decide that you're done. No more games. Ten of Swords reverse, the only one with the power to end this cycle is you. You are not out in the cold. This is coming out of the cold. This is coming back inside. amazing. Five of Pentacles reversed popping out twice. That's amazing. Another justice in the upright. Balance needs to be restored. You have to restore the balance. You have to decide if enough is enough. And you want to change your life. And no, it's not going to be an easy decision. It's going to be a quite painful one. But you're in an upward cycle. You're in an upward turn. There's beautiful, wonderful things coming for you. 
beautiful, wonderful things coming for you. But you need to decide if you're ready to let go of the crap or not. Let go of the past. It's not going to repeat itself unless you allow it. See, it's your journey. Do what you want. I just read the cards. Capricorn, you guys have been absolutely wonderful this last year. I love you guys to pieces. You guys are my neighbors in the Zodiac. I have a lot of Capricorn friends. And I wholeheartedly appreciate all the love and support you've given over the last year. And we look forward to another year here at Fire Sign Tarot, if not many more. I'm giving love and light and positive energy to not just you guys, but everybody. Again, thank you so much. If you want to like, share, subscribe, please do so. I'm not going to twist anybody's arm. I'm not a beggar. I'm not a panhandler. I got me. I want, I want to make sure you got you. And that's why I'm here. That's why I do this. If you're in need of a personal reading, I'm available. Um, the link should, should finally be down below. And if it's not down below, the email address is listed in the about section of the channel. Okay. I'm going to get out of here. I have to go pick up Neon from the doctor. So, much love. Be blessed. Mwah! I'll catch you in your next reading.